Good evening and welcome to Highlanders Basketball. I am Kevin Scott. Joined alongside me is my partner in crime, Jeff Argenziano. How are you doing tonight, Jeff? How you doing, Kevin? I'm doing well. Welcome back to the 2023-2024 Somerville High School. Somerville Highlanders boys basketball um, game season. And what do you have to say about uh, this team, Jeff? Kevin, the best thing about this team is you're going through a rebuilding process the last couple of years. But the number one sol solid effort for this team is the coaching staff. Same coaching staff is in effect. You're bringing in former players that are familiar with the program like Jimmy McEwen, Dara Goodrich, and Yanni Taragotis. But your mainstays, Ian Cormack has been your freshman coach since 2010. Mark Antelli now in his 16th year, 21 games over 500 as a summable head coach. And Matt Desmond has been, that core has been together. We're staying together with consistency, running the program, believing in the name, and everybody out here wants to come back and the crowd behind us is moving. But the stability is here and the emotion is here for the team. Nice. Um, who are the key players that we're going to have to look out for for the Highlanders come up for this season? Number one is your seniors. You have nine seniors. Eddie Hudson-Jones, he is your point guard. He will be bringing the ball up. The key is for him not to come down with any turnovers. Your starting center and captain, Ian Bourne. The key for Ian Bourne, rebound effectively, putbacks, screen and roll, scoring, and getting to the free throw line. And he doesn't to do that last season. Yeah, and then Makai Curtis is your best shooter in the backcourt. So those are your top players coming off the bench. Danny Schmidt, your sophomore, had a huge three-point shooting effort in your first game against Chelsea. Some will coming in at 0-1, and Boston Latin, who they're playing today, is 2-0, beating Medford, a team in the GBL, a neighborhood charter school, a team from the Boston Public Schools area. So that's your key. Those are your things that you got to look at. N number one goal, Frantelli, start off strong, get wins in the league, get your wins in your tournament that's coming up over the holiday season, and then get back into the MIA tournament for the first time since 2020. Um. There's a few rule changes. We can probably get into that after the um, starting lineup, Jeff. Yeah. I know you can't wait to talk, tell everybody about those. Well, number one rule change everybody's going to see. i got 30 seconds to uh, talk about it. You're no longer having fouls per half. It's now the NBA similar rule to five fouls per quarter. It resets at the end of each quarter. And no more one-in-one -one situations at the seventh foul because now it's going to be five. After five, it's a double bonus automatic two free throws. And here come your starting five. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Summer High School's Man Up Joe for the first home game of the boys basketball 2023-2024 season. Today, you know, some of the Highlanders play host of Boston Latin Wolf Battle. The starting lineup for Boston Latin. Number zero, Jackson Prater. Number one, Captain John D'Amico. Number 11, Will White. Number 23, Yaku Finn. Number 33, Evan Davenaris. And the winner of the coach by Jerry
Let's get the starting lineups, please. Nico, White, Finn, and Evan. There's some little starters for the last two games. Eddie, Francois, Mackay, Kyle, Dutra, and Ian Bourne. Rock Antonelli coming in. This is his 16th season. Coming in with a 151 and 130 career record. There you go. With some of those, uh, 21 games over 500. Now, I no longer say 21 games over 500. Paul Garrity, 21 games over 500. Mark Antonelli. All right, Ian Bourne about to jump it up. We think it's the height disparity here. About three inches, four inches. Woo! Key for yeah. some of them to get the tap. And then the other pro key is you had a lead early against Chelsea. The guy's staying down. Familiar officials for some of for this game next first of all. Oh. Oh, offensive rebound for Latin. Oh, nice trip. Move it. Keep going. Nice pass up ahead. You can't get, get control of it. Turnover, Kyle. Boston Lion, look. No, not. Look. Yep. Oh, nice switch by Ian. And he gets back. Good deal. Got to cut off that baseline. Oh, that's too easy. Ian stopped that play effectively. Kevin to try to run the screen and roll right. and Ian ran it perfectly. And, and Eddie's got to learn to cut the, um, the baseline off. The referee, go ahead. He's a very active coach on the sideline, Kevin. He's all out of that coach's box with all the side counting. Oh. Good D. Ball's kicked out from way downtown. Oh, bang, by number 11, Willie White. Five quick points for Mr. White. You gotta get out on him, you know he's a shooter. Eddie moving in, keep bringing the ball up the court. Cross court pass. Eddie's taking his time, a little hesitation. And you got for some of them, oh. high percentage three point shooting with Makai, with Kyle and with Danny coming in off the bench as a sixth man. Two Let's see, Kevin um, uh, Brian Devine underneath the basket right now and Rafael Olomito right in front of us. That should be a travel, call it. They break the press fairly easily, but nice steal there by Makai. Oh, but he stepped out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds and got the turnover, so we credit him with the steal. Gets the turnover. He did plant his feet onto the ground, so he did get the steal. He did turn over out of bounds. Oh, can't leave him wide open. Three got that. for White, that's eight. All eight points for White. Now. Nice, that's how you break the press. Get the ball to the center of the court to Ian. Wait for Eddie to cross uh, half court. Run your offense. From way downtown, no. Got to follow your shot. Oh! Good, good call by by the zebra, Rafael Olamido. Kevin checking in first, first varsity action at home. He had a three in the first half at Chelsea is Julian Goodrich. And now we are in a third generation of Goodrich men. That have played here, played for Somerville. Yes. Not here at the Eugene Bruin, because um, Julian's grandfather, David, played where at uh, where the, the library is. The original gym was Auditorium, which right. is the library. Right. Which the original floor was under there when they brought it up. Moving it around. Ben from way downtown, short. Got to follow your shot. Shifted to 33 stands. Find him, shooter. Julian cuts him off. Good D. Fedek oh. Julian with the block, Jeff. Oh. 
Number zero for Latin, Jackson Penn, for three. Oh! Wow. So it's gonna be very hard to get into a bonus situation. One team foul and Danny coming back in. For first action here. Danny had 11 points at Chelsea, Kevin. First time out, I will go over that game. There's White again. Skip pass. Good steal. The look at the move, it has Julian wide open, finds Ben. Ben gets the blo shot blocked. Quick outlet. Boston line cam. Oh, right into the middle. But way downtown. Ben. Coach Antonelli is going to call a timeout as Boston Latin comes out on a, what was that, a 14 to nothing run, Jeff? Yep. 14 to nothing run. The 11th, Kevin Somerville played at Chelsea, and they came away. Good. Loss at Chelsea, so that's one one loss in their docket, league-wise, in the GBL. In that game, you had all five starters the same. And in that game, Julian scored his first three. In that game, full court tumble. We haven't seen that for a number of years, Kevin. Another one. You will not take away from that. Full court tumbling by this cheerleader squad. Allie, your head coach, a tumbler herself. All right. So came away with a 50 47 loss at Chelsea. Coming into the game now for the Highlanders is Jackson Pyman. Ian Bourne still on the court. Julian Goodridge is on the court. So next yeah, time out, I will talk about the tumblers, not because the tumblers took all the action. Um, Makai and Danny Schmidt are on the court for the Highlanders. Skip pass. Yeah. Julian over to Makai. Makai to Jackson. Jackson dumps it down to Ian. Nice. Oh, could have went to the other side. And in this game, Jackson's going to have to play out of position and guard one of these larger forwards. Oh, Jill, good deal by Julian beating him to the spot. Another open three, Kevin. Cabinets. They got to they gotta get out. They have to extend the defense. Uh oh. Out of bounds. Push. And he can't believe it. D'Amico with some choice words. Yeah. Lady in red. A lot of people coming from holiday Christmas parties, Kevin. I'm about to go to one after this. Are you now? Yes, I am. I'm going to the mall. You gonna start your Christmas shopping? Yep. Julian thought about it. Cash is still on here. He might come with me. Finds Ian to the paint. Look at that, Kevin. Oh, strong. Oh, I was gonna say you gotta call the foul. Foul will be on Evan, his first, team's third. Somerville has not committed a foul yet, Kevin. Ian Bourne going to the line for the first two options here for Somerville to score in this game, Kevin. Ian knocks it down, gets on the board. Fundamentally the sound, yes, release. Ian Bourne, high percentage shooter from the line. Can you imagine if this is the type of crowd that stood up until your team scored? Yeah. Oh, well, three the minutes to go tired. in the first quarter. Two for two, Ian Bourne. Your captain. Dribbles right through. Oh. Double dribble. Don't you think he tapped it? I, this ain't that he tapped it. Ooh, nice move by White. Strong. Oh. Ripped away. How was that? I mean, Reset. Double dribble or, or travel. So they just gave him a new shot clock on that. That was a late shot clock. Oh, kicks it out. White from way downtown. His first miss of the game, Jeff. Good block by, uh, who's that, Ian? Ian. No, no, by number 30, sorry. Danny Schmidt. Danny. Julian, oh, Julian. Turn the ball and go, oh. Number one, Diamico. Julian had a couple of bad turnovers against Chelsea, so it's a learning curve for him. 
Jackson for three. Oh, grits it. Oh, ball's out of bounds off of Boston Lightning, still Highlander's ball. So coming back in, Eddie and Ravello. Leaving Makai, leaving Julian. Okay. On that particular play, Julian has to have the sense, the, the court sense, and he just went by one of the, one of the players, or the, one of the defenders. You can't put the ball behind your back, he's still there. Tipped off Eddie. Kind of an Albert Hodges move there by Julian. You gotta, you can't just dribble straight on, Kevin. You gotta make, you gotta make it hesitation move, or you gotta go around the play. He's driving. He's just going north to south. Remember, it's not how fast you move, Kevin. It's your, your pace. Another three, three threes. Another timeout by Coach Antonelli. I don't understand why the players are going down into the paint. I mean, Evans has it. I mean, Evans is, is tall and everything, but he hasn't proven that he can do anything yet. Well, he's been killing us from outside. And the first miss by Finn, and now he's hit three straight, Kevin. So in that game, I said Chelsea beat them, and your leading scorers, Danny had 11, Kyle had nine, Ian Bourne had eight. Eddie had five. Francois had five. Julian Mackay both had three. And Ravello had four. So that was your first action of the season. And your first action the GBL. GBL now has eight teams. You have Lynn Classical, Lynn English, Somerville, Medford, Malden, Everett, Revere and Chelsea. Somehow the MIA has still allowed them to be in exclusion league, which is a complete embarrassment. And I'm personally embarrassed by it. So this will be the last year that the GBL is allowed to be an exclusion game school league. I'll explain what that means later on. Right there, and that hesitation up fake. That's what Julian needs to learn from Eddie. Right. And that little hesitation made the defense collapse back to give him a little bit more room to work. Two rebounds for Finn. 20 point lead for Boston Lions. Quick on that pass up. Cross it over, dumps it down. Nice steal. Ollie moving it. Gets hatched. Wow. Racking up the fouls is uh, Boston Lion one. Fouls on the one, D'Amico, that's two, so. But, I see now, all he had him beat, but he also had a man up the court. You gotta keep your head up. Your backup one is Jaden Berkson. He's into the game now. He's actually not coming in for D'Amico with the two fouls. He's coming in for number zero, Brynn. Some of the boys have played. Yeah. Alaska counts in a foul. Nice. Strong move by Ian. This team has played uh, this, you know, boss line before Somerville, but mainly it's been the football team that has a long history against Boston Lion. So Danny out. One minute to go in the first quarter, and Kevin, as I uh, oh, as forward. I said, would be a rarity. Kevin, Boston Lion in the bonus, which will be two shot fouls for the next minute. So nice. penetrate and get fouled. Oh, nice pick by Ian. Francois brings it in, kicks it off to Eddie. Eddie up to Ben. Kicks it out. Good defense by Boston Lion. Eddie so brings it in, gets hat, no call. Oh, halfway down, Jeff. They just have so much length, Kevin. Even White, look, how, uh, look at the size of White. Get past the Boston line. They have their heights? No. Thanks, guys. Ooh. Turnover Antonelli with great hands. Oh, they'll say he's tipped out of bounds? Okay. No, he, um, Ollie hit the ball out of right. bounds. Good D. Into the backcourt. And Kevin, in the coaching staff, I didn't mention Matty O'Donnell. He's over there, too. 
and he's been a mainstay for decades. All the way in for two. Got the board. Eddie with the rebound. There you go. Oh, got him with a double dribble there. Let's go one shot, Kevin. There you go, Ollie. The way downtown. Man. Nice play to find Ollie for wide open for three. Right at the budget check. So as I talked about before, an exclusion, Somerville, we, the MIA has a rule for exclusion leagues. If you have four or less, you're automatically used as an exclusion league because you have a hard time coming up with a schedule. Four or so less. Teams, teams, usually. In the league. So like, like the GBL is an exclusion league when you only had Somerville, Medford, Malden, and Everett. So you were exclusion league because how are you gonna come up with a 20 game schedule? You have to get teams to agree to play you that already play 16 games, like a Middlesex League team, Winchester, a team from the Merrimack Valley. They already play 18 to 20 games, so they're allowed to play two more games, so some teams will play a 22nd game and a 21st game and play you on a home and away because they don't have to count those games. And that's what makes you an exclusion game because you can exclude those games from your one loss record. With eight teams in the GBL, there is absolutely no reason for the GBL to be an exclusion league anymore. And this is and the how, last and year. How, how are they getting away with it? Well, they have allowed them to be, and they said this. The MI has stated this is the last, and the league has agreed that this will be the last year that they will be an exclusion league. Now, as I always say, I argue this every year. <laughs> I know when you, know you play an exclusion game and you don't plan on counting it, those points point. should not count towards your record. Just like the NBA's Georgia stats. The NBA's you know, early midseason tournament game, the championship game, the Lakers against the Pacers, those counted. Wait, those counted? Or no. They, they don't? That game did not count. But just just in the championship game? Just the championship game. That game did not count. That doesn't make any sense. But the playoffs, the well, all the games leading up to it, though? All the games leading up to it were regularly scheduled were games for your schedule. But the championship sense. game did not count. So in that game, Anthony Davis had, what, 42 points? He had, like, high 30s. None of those stats count. So why have all, why have all games? That because it was count. one extra game that nobody else was playing. Hey, I would get rid of that tournament. It's ridiculous. I can't understand it either. Oh, he had Evan right open. He thought about it. Oh, he still got him though. Three seconds. Three seconds. Oh. Oh, look at that hustle uh, by Harley. Get off him. There you go. Roll the ball, Eddie. Eddie's looking to punch it now. Two steals for Harley. Robert Allen, Kevin, in the oh, house. Oh, that's a foul on the floor. Uh, he got bumped when he's trying to bring it into the lane, Jeff. No call by the referee. 12 point lead for Boston Latin. Allen, they get another stop. All the way for two, Kevin. Big board by Ian. No one. Eddie looking to push it. Brings it into the center of the court now, Jeff. Two rebounds for Ian Bourne. Well, ben thought about it, kicks it to Eddie, top of the key, over to Ollie. Back up to Ben. Ben Francois brings it in, hesitates, gets around the travel, halfway down, get fit. Big board by Ian. Ian goes up strong, he gets hacked, no call. He's he gets no another ball, offensive Kevin. rebound, Jeff. He can't finish. Rebound by Evan. Three rebounds on that offensive Ian Bourne play. using the old Mosul Malone, Kevin, tap it off the glass to get another offensive board. He's got three. Coach Hotel ain't always any time. You got Danny coming back in. We're in stalled offense right now for Boston Lion. Oh, Jabba. Turnover. Jag got back foot. So Francois leaves. Danny Schmidt is back into the game. Eddie, Ollie. Who else we got? Kyle and Ian. 
Run film. Oh, dumps it down. Oh, oh. come on. But that better pass. And that pass was on point. He could have turned around, had an easy bunny very, right there for two. Well. Nice. Nice. Screen. Now you got to roll. There you go. Oh. He ain't Coach going up strong. Yep. Another board. That's six. And you can credit him with the block. So as you saw in the quarter, Kevin fouls resume to zero. Or reset another three. Four threes for Finn. Four threes for Finn, Kevin, 450 to go. 15 point lead, fouls back, reset to zero for Boston Latin. So people like this rule. Oh, and he just gets stripped. This should be a foul fight. How is there no foul oh, ball in that play? Oh, Fanny out of bounds. And they give it to Boston Latin. How did that go? How did, how did that go on uh, Fanny? I don't know. 14 coming back in. I don't Burks. know how they didn't call the foul. Why? And Somerville, Kevin, has the ultimate NBA rule because they have a 94 foot court. the excuse Mo used to make. He always used to say, like, you know, we're talking, it's like you should be, you should be having more advantage at home because you have a larger court. You play 94 foot court. Teams that play 84 foot court should be more tired when they're trying to press you with a shorter court. And when they play at home, Makai. Oh, he's gonna get the roll though. Oh, that's too easy. Oh, all the way for two. Kevin. You gotta cut him off. Make him change direction. 14 points for Finn. Who the greatest Finn? He won't be here much He's longer. He's a uh, junior, Jeff. Nice cross. Ooh, nice move. Eddie gets it in. Fade away for two. Eddie. There you go, Eddie. Back and forth, the lead will ramble. Oh. Eddie. Eddie, oh, there you go. McCoy. Way downtown. Count it. And that's see some that? of those offense when they have the high percentage three point shooters in. You've got to cover one of them. Nick coming oh. in next dead ball for his first action here at home. Oh, oh wow. Danny there. with the block. There you go, Danny. Danny Schmidt, your sophomore. Besides that, Kevin, you got almost all seniors. Yep. Nine seniors, so it's going to be a very long senior ceremony later on in the year. Getting out. Coming out of the game is Ian. Ian Bourne deserves player of the game. Nick! Nicholas, what's, how do you pronounce his last name, Jeff? The Ravens? Okay. Nick? Demaris? Demaris? Well, well that's pretty good. Oh, in right, Nick was right there, Kevin. Five threes in the first half. Nick is 6'5? 17. Okay. Too much dribbling. Nick's Big. a senior, too. Comes it down, he can't control it. Plays it like a hand grenade. Oh, oh. offensive foul. <laughs> so foul will be on Eddie. Did not have defensive position, they're saying. Kevin, I got the new rule book. Uh oh. 23-24. It's a trap. He changed his pivot for literally three times. Anton wants to look at him. Shoots very low, Kevin. Very yeah. low release point. 30 to 15 is your lead with two minutes. He's not going to be able to do that in college. First half. Ben Francois, top of the key. Ben from way downtown. Set shot. Shot right off the Somerville will always be in the game with these three-point shooters. Trouble. See you. 
Keep going. Easy, 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 easy. There you go. Skip past the bend. Oh, no. Eddie missed that opportunity. Will White coming back in. He's got eight points. Got to keep his. Oh. It's not even that he, that, he has, that he has to keep his head up. Well, he tried to make a chest. He's trying to make too much. Trying to make a chest pass, yeah. and he traveled, and he knew he traveled to release it quickly. No, nice. But speed. that was all Eddie right there. A yeah. little trap in the corner, using the sideline as an extra defender. That's a way to do it. Don't keep your head down. Just come out play good defense. Get the ball back. And a turnover by Mr. D'Amico. Kevin, they can cut it to 10 right now, or 9. Alright. And really, it's been a three-point shooting. Oh. Three threes, Kevin, in this quarter. So three threes are 9, and 2 is 11. 11 points in this quarter. Long pass. Timeout, Boston Ooh. Latin. Saves that 10 second call. 34 seconds to go, Kevin. Now you hear all over the place that there is there shortages of many things. You hear all the time that there's a referee shortage. Why they have to have a lot of games on Thursdays, especially football. You have a lot of Thursday games, basketball. You can't tell the Tuesday, Friday, but some leagues seem to not have a problem. And the other thing is when you look at the payment schedule, this year for varsity football was 103 and Thanksgiving Day 120. So you get that extra bonus for Thanksgiving Day. Now miraculously, Kevin, there were over 100 games on Thanksgiving Day. Right. Miraculously, somehow, some way, there was not a referee shortage issue on Thanksgiving Day when you had over 100 games in the state. Every team played, except for a few that played on Tuesday at Fenway and Wednesday at Fenway. So a couple games on Thursday, but somehow, some way, funny how that happens, there was not a referee shortage on Thanksgiving Day. We had over 100 games statewide. So what is the reason why you can't do that on a regular Friday? You tell me. Well, maybe some of these referees have regular jobs where they were off on Thanksgiving, so they didn't have them. I think, think it has, some, their regular job think it has to something to, to do with the $120, the extra bonus? I mean, of course, but... Oh, that's too easy, guys. Wait. Ah! Oh, wait, look up. Look up! There you go. There you go. You hit that? 10 points, Kevin. There you go. Oh, you got Julian from way downtown. No. Big board by Julian. Reset, 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 reset. There you go. No. Oh. Oh. Got it within 10, like you said, Jeff. Summer mode, 20, Boston Lions, 30. You're watching Highlanders basketball on the educational well, whatever it's called now. Somerville Ed TV. Somerville Ed TV. And we're back, going Kevin, on. going over the scores for Somerville. Two points for Eddie. Three points for Francois. Four points for Ian Bourne. Five points for Makai Curtis and leading the way Ravello with six his two threes for a total of 20 points for Boston Latin. Two points for D'Amico. Three for Prim. Eight for Will White. And leading the way, Finn with 17. All those three pointers for a total of 30. Foul trouble, really nobody. The only one, John D'Amico, with two. 
For Somerville, only two team fouls. Eddie and Kyle have one each. So that's your... That's your uh, change of the rule, Kevin. Yeah, so now there's a game. This is going over the uh, vocation tournament now. Somerville's part of. There's two games. Now a game on Friday, the 29th. That will probably be like at 1.30 uh, in the afternoon. Yeah. 5.30 on the game. We'll try to close the year out, Jeff. Yeah. Wait, how, how is that going to be possible? Can these guys use the stairs, please? And we're back. How do you get beat like oh, that? Ten. That is too early. I mean, too. Yeah. Makai with the board. He got lucky that he missed it. All right. Let's go. Tail two halves right here. It's, it's hard to see right now. Van Francois. We got a bus coming in. Ooh. Nice pass out to Ian. Kyle. Oh. 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 oh, undercut Kevin. Not intentionally, but it was just a you know, tough situation. Next game, we got to get a bigger barricade here. Danny coming back and Coach Antonelli not wasting any time. Now they're gonna check Makai, maybe if he's hurt. Are they asking him to leave? Oh, no, no, he seems fine. No, he seems fine. No, there you go. He's checking back in. Danny! Oh, oh just oh, 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 no. away by Kyle. Danny. Over to Ben, Ben thought about it, doesn't do anything. Two offensive boards. Kyle brings it into the paint, gets stripped, kicks it out to Eddie. There you go, Eddie, that should be a travel. Yep. Got away with that one. Great defense for Boston line, right up in your Solid face. Solid by Ian Jeff. Eddie thought about it, doesn't have anything. Five seconds on the shot clock. Ben Ben swap from way downtown, no. Ian Bourne over the back, no foul. Oh. <laughs> Ian Bourne gripping to the ground, Makai coming back in. Who's he in for, Danny? Danny out. So Danny yeah, gets 36 Jack seconds. I was making sure that he was okay. I would say so. He, 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 he definitely felt he wasn't, Yeah, he wasn't asked to leave. Oh, nice anticipation. Quick outlet. Kyle find in, resets it to Ben. Eddie brings it into the paint, kicks it back out. Oh, for three. Here you go. Makai Curtis for three. That's eight points. Climbing to Kevin to seven. Tail two hat. Let's do it. Good lead pass, Kevin. Perfect. Yeah. And he beats him to the spot. The D. This went easy. Turnover, number 23, Finn. Face Sean Ulysses here, Kevin, seeing us before the game. Thank you, Joe. Actually, Salim is here too, Kevin. There's your backcourt, Face Sean and Salim. Face Sean at the door right now. Face Sean is the second all-time all leading game scorer for Somerville. And he did was more impressive, Kevin, because it was a lot of three-pointers at Malden hmm. in a very competitive game too. Oh. Travel three seconds. Travel three seconds, whatever three you want to call. Wow. But they let him get the turnover. Find the man. In the paint, Kevin. Ooh. Oh, beautiful finger Scoot roll. Scooped right Kevin. underneath him, Jeff. Ten points now for White. Someone's got to inbound the ball. And their first two points of the half. Next time out, Kevin, I'll go over a lot of the rule Keep changes. Going, Eddie. Dump it. There you go. Kyle, Zutra. Push the ball, keep your head up. First two points for Kyle. Back to seven, Kevin. Oh, steal by Makai. Take your time. Easy, easy, there you go. Get the ball on, let's go. Ricardo Benoam here is Kevin. They don't have a game they played last night. Eddie off the dribble. 
For those of you who don't know Ricardo Bonome, he is the Somerville girls head coach, along with Patrick Turfant. They are one and two, Kevin. Who they played uh, so far? They played Chelsea. Count it! 20 points. They played Chelsea, they played Whittier. They lost, they beat Chelsea, they lost to Whittier, and they lost to Malden. They Sean walking tall on the baseline, Kevin. He can get a free meal anytime he wants in Somerville after what he did that game. And that was almost 10 years ago. Time Still flies, looks like huh? he can play. Good ball moving by the Highlanders. Another three seconds. Kyle has left the lane. Oh, and he throws it away almost. Nope, it's going to be short. Rebound by a Will White. Ten point lead for Boston Line. You got to stop the ball. Find the shooter. Short. Oh, over the back. Oh, oh great nice tip hustle. by uh, number 20, Prim. So coming back in, Kevin, is Julian. Danny and Oli. Ravello, Goodrich, and Schmidt. Travel. Travel. Nice pass. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Some of us, nobody that can guard him. And that's his first two points of the game. That's crazy. The thing about that. All you gotta do is post him up every possession. Nobody can stop him. Well, he's strong too. He's been muscling on oh, but the whole still, first you half. Get, you got you gotta like a, a time on it's Ellie. Strange. Only two timeouts left in half. All right, Kevin. Rule changes. This is for you, Johansson. The rule changes here. They're requiring the shot clock operator to sit the scores table and the timers table if using the shot clock. Which these are the National Federation rules. This establishes the placement of the shot clock operator for those states utilizing the shot clock. And a growing use of video boards allow the table control from anywhere in the gym. We, uh, the other rule change, rule three, four, five, requires uniform bottoms on teammates to be light colored while allowing different styles of uniform bottoms among teammates. Clarifies that all teammates wear light colored uniform bottoms may wear multiple styles when aligning language with other NFHS rule codes. Allows undershirts worn under the visiting team jersey to be black or a single color similar to the torso of the jersey. All teammates wearing undershirts must wear the same solid color. That happened in the Somerville game against Chelsea where Ava Martin had to change the color of the shirt wearing under the uniform prior to the game. The referee pointed that out. So that's why you have to have the same solid color. So we'll go over the rest of the rule changes. Nice. For this year. So that kind of was called because Julian was walking away from it. He's a point guard. And no one's going to, going to the ball. Ooh. Tough D. Ollie brings it in into the paint. Somehow he gets Finds through. Julian from way downtown. No. Big board. No. Oh. Dear Miko. Foul on uh, the ball. The they didn't call a foul. They called the ball. Tip off of Ollie out of bounds. Still Boston Lightning ball. 2.49 to go. 25 to 37. Boston Lightning. Jackson Pyman just not getting any time today, Kevin. He could be injured. Oh, all the way for two. Step up. Good. Nice block, block jump. Ty. There you go. Possession arrow going Highlander's way. December 15, 2023. Here comes Eddie Hudson Jones. On the roster, he is listed as Eddie Jones Hudson. It's always been Eddie Hudson Jones to me, Kevin. BC. Hmm. All right, 12 point lead. Boston line, 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Ollie with the ball on the wing. Dumps it down. There we go. Strong travel. Wow. But established the up fake. Wow. Yep. But he traveled on the up fake. There you go. That's a foul. Thank you. So that's two fouls on. 
Kevin. Nice upfit. Ian Bourne going to the line, who's currently two for two, and Somerville's only free throw is Kevin. Coach Antelli diagram and play the entire Boston line staff is saying hands are straight up. So you look at you look at the he said he's six six, his hands are straight up. Look how many assistant coaches. Right, One, two, three, four. Four assistant coaches. Somerville has one, two, three, four, five, six assistant coaches on the bench. Back in the day, Kevin, you had one. And your freshman coach, right. JV and freshman coach, that was it. 26. Looking to uh, bring it to 10 here, Kevin. Oh. Jason, Jeff. Well. Good D. Cut, cut off the baseline. There you go, Ian. Ian Bourne with the steal. He beat him to the spot, Jeff. Oh, that's a punch. There you go. <laughs> but, but the coach of Boston Line is like the same thing just happened down on the baseline. Yeah, follows on Jackson Prin, his first, team's third of the quarter, and you have 153 left to go. So let's see if they get into the double bonus or two shots. No longer double bonus. They read that play, Kevin. Yep. Come on, Eddie. Oh, nice take by all of you. She didn't set his feet, though, no. Jeff. Four rebounds now for Diamico. Back to six. And their pressure is in the backcourt, Kevin. Excellent pressure defense by some of them. Big board by Ben Fitzwater. The Highlands are still in this. Bravo. Yeah. And for the first time, yeah. Kevin Wood Julian, the first time since we've been doing this, you have a father son that we have announced. 31 years for you, 28 together. Who will be next for the father son that we've announced? I never announced the Mark Antelli game, so we can't have that. Maybe Desmond in the future. Travel. Renee Lister in the house. Hey, now Renee Goodrich. Oh, fade away. Over Chips. the bat. Oh, he's 6'6". Six, six. He's still going over his bat. For three. Over. Oh. There you uh, go. Relax. Some of us are rebounding them, Kevin. I mean, Boston Line jacking up a lot of food, so. Yes. There you go. Move it around. Travel. <laughs> there you go, Eddie. Ben. Eddie goes baseline up oh, and under for two. They cut it under 10 for the first time, Kevin. Need a stop. Shooter. That's Only a shooter. seven points scored, Boston Lion, Kevin. At the buzzer. Good D. No foul. All right. All right, so we've got it under, under 10. The final quarter. So, other rules. Eliminate the one and one, this is what we talked about. Eliminate the one and one for common fouls beginning with the seventh, beginning with the seventh team foul in the half and establishes the bonus as two free throws awarded the common foul beginning with the team's fifth foul in each quarter and resets the fouls at the end of each quarter. Their rationale is it improves the flow, and it actually does, Kevin, by providing an opportunity for teams to adjust their play by not carrying over fouls from quarters one and three to quarters two and four, while significantly reducing the opportunity for correctable errors to occur. This also minimizes the risk of injury by eliminating the one and one and reducing opportunities for rough play during rebounding opportunities. 
So that's the one reason why when you had quarters, Massachusetts always played halves. Mm -hmm. And other states around here, Maine, New Hampshire, were playing quarters. And people always like the quarters because you have five team timeouts for, per game, and now you get a timeout at the end of the first, and now at the end of the third. So you have ex establishing two extra timeouts a game. So there's some people that like that. So that's the establishment of the quarters. It's been a long time now since there have been quarters in Massachusetts high school basketball. So a couple more rule changes we will go over at the next dead ball. And for those of you out there, they have referee clinics. If you want a ref. I have one way to eliminate the referee shortage and it would be immediate if they would follow my guidelines. Why don't you become a commissioner? I think, I, I'm not well liked by the referees, Kevin. Oh, oh, he got no, cracked yeah, in the no, no foul there? Easy, Eddie. Eddie pushed him back. Eddie got cracked twice. Kevin Finn held the three points in the third. Ball's coming our way. What are they using this year? The, 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 the baited ball. Yeah. Or the Biden ball. Now, is that the same ball they're using for the tournament? No, they use a TF-1000. Why would you not use a TF-1000? I don't, don't, I don't understand 1000? that. You've been saying that for years, Jack. I know. Why not use the ball that's in the tournament? Some ball has not made the tournament since 2020. Since that game, we went to Bill Rick. So it's all moot. M-O-O-T. That was the last time I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Here's a makeup call, Kevin. A very quick five second call. That is what's called, for those of you watching your only game or your first game of the year, that is what is called a makeup call. Very much so. That was a very quick five second call. And a five second call, Kevin, in high school basketball, you have to proceed north or south, east or west, and making a move, being closely guarded within a five second range. Then kicks it out. Jackson Pyman in the game, Kevin. Eddie and Ben. Time with the ball. There you go from way downtown. A little knuckleball out oh. from Pyman. D'Amico now, Kevin. He's got seven rebounds. Oh. 6-6, six, six, dunk the ball. Easily, right? But he will go to the line for his first two free throws. So let's see what kind of range he's at. 5-5-2? 2-5? 2-5. Five, five, two? Two, five, two, five. Fouls on Jackson Pyman. His first, team second of the quarter, which is the fourth, which means you'll be going home soon. Still 10 seconds at the line, Kevin. Enough. First one down. And and back, with the, back to 10 points. And they need those points, Kevin, because they only had. I mean, they didn't only really had score. seven points in the, in the uh, third quarter. Only seven points in the third quarter, only three by Finn. So great defense by Eddie. Great rotation. Oh, uh, it's a board. Got a box out. Foul will be on Jackson Pyman. Uh, oh, no. 3-3? Three, 2-2? Three. Two, two? Nice if we had a PA announcer. How hard is that? 22. Kyle, that's second. Going to the line is number one, D'Amico. Ten point lead, Kevin. Back and forth. The lead will ramble. Right. He's got a weird looking shot, Jeff. Well. He's wearing those cross trainers, too. I would never wear those. And we're going to get a timeout by Boston Line with 6.36 to go in the game. As they used to say, you can walk in a running shoe, but you can't run in a walking shoe. Who says that? Think about that. As they used to say, that multiply that five, seven, or nine is 72 with 3.5 and divide that into seven, which gives you 
your ratio for a walking and running shoe. Okay. <laughs> so the next rule is allows the official administering a throw-in to the wrong team to correct the mistake before the first dead ball after the ball becomes live unless there's a change in possession. The rationale is this allows for a correctable error of an official's mistake in a move within a reasonable time frame. The last rule change is establishing that a player may step out of bounds without penalty unless they are the first player to touch the ball after returning to the court or if they left the court to avoid a violation. This allows a player to step out of bounds if they gain no advantage and penalizes the team only if they gain an advantage by leaving the court and returning to avoid a violation to be the first one to touch the ball. That happened when Paul Garrity was coaching with Peter Tongo at Acton Bucksboro. He went out of bounds to save a ball, came back in before the ball. He was the first person to touch the ball and made a three. And Paul Garrity argued that to no end. So those are your rule changes. And next time out, I will go over the bench. Points of emphasis. Oh, travel. There you go, Eddie. Wide up. No. That's a travel because he went one, two, and then took a. He had born. Hey, oh, had it halfway down, Jeff. Ben was a little main job. He can't finish. Oh! Ben really wanted it, but couldn't finish. But he dribbled it out of bounds, though. Still gonna be high on the ball underneath the basket. Be nice next game to get two more chairs for Somerville's bench so Yanni and Matty O don't have to stand the entire game. Oh, foul. He can't believe it, Kevin. Evan now with three fouls. There was a foul on that one. Ian Bourne. They call it a shooting foul? Ian Bourne, Kevin, a lot of points from the line today. Three points from the line. Three for five from the line is Ian Bourne. Ian Bourne, a good pitcher as well, Kevin. Think you could throw an inning these days? I don't know if I could, I think I could get through an inning. An inning? Yeah, I think you could throw, get three outs? No, definitely not. My arm would be shot. I would throw, I'd throw a bunch of knuckleballs. I wouldn't be able to throw a fastball. You see, you'd, it'd be worse than batting practice if I threw a fastball. Spreading the floor. See, he, he rushed that one. That was a push off by Yeah, he rushed the, that shot. If he had set his feet, we would have been in trouble. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. And he's right up on you. Referee saying, watch the hands. Some of Highlander uh, chilies with new uniforms too, Kevin. Great dish. Nice strip. So we credit who's under there, who hit the block? We credit uh, Francois with the block. Yeah, new uniforms for the Highlander cheerleaders in the front. Some of them with the same uniforms the last couple of years. Same as the Puma. I think the uh, football had new balance, maybe. Really? 30, 34 coming in game, Kevin, his first action. Of course, we have no 34 on the roster. Nope. And I went from their book, too, so if they didn't change the book, that's a technical foul there, Johansson. Oh, I got a low ball, you man. Come on, Danny. Nice move, Kevin. Good team. Oh. Good. 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 Yeah. Time. But Kyle was, crack, was cracking him upside yeah. down. Bottom What's on five? Time. Yes. Foul on Makai. That's 14 fouls. Ravallo coming back in. Coach Antelli's, what's he asking for? <laughs> Coach Antonelli's saying that he hasn't said anything all game. To the referees, and now he's not getting any calls. But something to that effect, right on the There's your makeup call. Now see, that's, that's so blatantly obvious. It's, it's, it's like you complain about a call, I'm going to give you one. <laughs> you know, 
You wonder why been, some, ref, some refs been, could criticize. It would have been a different story if it was, a diff if it was the other referee that made that call. <laughs> the entire girls coaching staff over there, along with Couchess Belfont at the door, watching the action. Only a 10 point game here, Kevin. I know, he's still got plenty of time, Jeff. But you can't waste it dribbling around, though. You gotta find open shots. That's not. Oh, oh my God. God. Please. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> this is a trout. Please. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, my Yo. word. Foul will be on. The fans from Boston Latin in the crowd are not happy with John that. John that's four fouls. Three team fouls. Coming back in is Evan. He's coming out for 34, who will remain nameless. I'll write 34 down here because he was not on the official book, which should be a technical foul. Now they're talking about the hands. Watch the hands. Cut it out, ref. You've got Ben wide open. Nice fish. Steel white. Nice hand. Oh! oh, oh. Nice pass. Ferguson with the two layup. Beautiful dish. 12, 12 point lead. Still not trying though. They're not giving us any open threes though. Well, Kevin, it's just they're the extension. Extending, they're extending the defense. Yeah, there you go. Go. Nope. The extension, which is allowing Somerville not to run any of their sets. Well, the thing is, we could have, the Highlands could have done that in the first half too. Because Evans wasn't doing really. anything down low. For three. Another rebound. Foul on Ian Bourne. Evan with the board. Five. Seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boards. Going back to the line. He is one for two from the line. 3.46 to go. Julian coming back in after this first free throw. Next time out, I will talk about the points of emphasis of the National Federation of High Schools officials, NFHS. Now when he catches the ball, Kevin, let's do the count because he's painfully close to that 10 second call. As the ball touches the fingertips, the count starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He was right there. Julian! This game's getting away from the Highlanders now, Jeff. 14 points. You gotta start putting up some shots. Quick hitters, Kevin. Nice there dunk you down go. to Ian. Ian he board pass. basket he counts for the foul. Perfect. Foul, stop the clock, make this free, free throw drop. And that's what I just said. As they come up, you gotta get some quick hitters. Find Ian Bourne. 23 foul. That's two on Finn. Kyle Dutra is coming in for the shooter, who is Ian Bourne. And that's great, but I'm telling you, save time right there. You get a sub in ah. if it goes in. Come on. Yeah. Nope. Same team. A lot of rebounds here by 33, Kevin. Coach Antonelli does. Can't believe that he missed that free throw. Ten rebounds by number 33, Kevin. There you go, Julian with a steal. And he gets, gets pushed by 14, Berkson. That's his first. Coming now, he's coming in for the shoot. Are you gonna bring him for the shooter now? So he's coming for two. Oh, it's a bonus. Oh, it's a bonus now. Now that's two free throws. Both teams in the bonus, Kevin. So the first time you're experiencing both teams in the bonus, that's two free throws automatically for Julian. No matter what he does. No more one and ones. No more lines. No more. So it's two shots for everyone. And Caden Joe's coming back in, Kevin, his first action in this game. Mm -hmm. 
Only four points this quarter for Somerville. Julian now with four points on the season. Oh, gets a steal. There you go. Caden. Makai. The bench one. Holly with the ball down. Finds Julian, thinks about it, skip pass over to Ben. Spread it out. Oh, he's oh. away. Foul will be on Julian, they don't know how. That's his first, going to the line for two free throws. Number one is John D'Amico, and he has four points. Two for two from the line. He gets automatic two shots, Kevin. 44-33 is your lead. Berkerson coming back in along with Eddie. And Danny. Coach Antonio going offense defense, Kevin. These guys looking to stay undefeated, looking to be 3 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you have a tree in your house? No, I do, do not. I don't either. I thought about it. I'm not home long enough to admire my tree. I know. I get home at night, I go to bed, I wake up, and I'm out. So the whole process all over again. I got a big building next to me, and there's like people that they work like during the day, so they turn all their lights on. So I, I don't really need, I, don't, I get a very short electric bill. So I don't really need to turn a light on. There we go. That's big. Coach has tonight with a timeout. Bring them back to think Sam with 2.30 to go in the game, Jeff. So your points of emphasis this year, uniform, equipment, and apparel is number one. Bench decorum is number two. And throw-ins, proper locations is number three. So that's a little embarrassing to say our point of emphasis is the throw-ins to be at the proper location. So that's basically saying that your officials are not inbounding the ball at the proper location. Your shot clock is the most important thing because like in Somerville before, the shot clock operator used to be like, you know, Rich Burnett sitting in a seat, a chair way off to the right and not anywhere near the scores table. So it's better now to have the person right at the scores table. And now it's an official rule. Some schools, you're lucky to even have a scoreboard going, let alone a shot clock. I wonder what the referees are talking about right now. It se seems to be like some type of discrepancy on a three point. Three Did they say that? Is the correct? Did they have a discrepancy? It looked like they did. So these guys, Kevin, this year get $95. For every They're not going to see that $95 for a couple of months because it gets processed through a check. The way to change this referee shortage is to pay everybody in cash right at the game, $95 as you're standing there before you leave the court, you'd have 400 more officials coming to you if you just paid them cash right there in their hands. Straight cash. Straight only. cash. I mean, use the cash to fill up the, um, the gas tank. It's cheaper. That's what I say, too. Back to live action. Island is still down by 10 points. Oh, carry. And tell him that. But they've held Finn, Kevin, second half. Finn's only had three points. Oh, nice D. Julian with the steal. Split the defense. That's D. Oh. Oh. That's, how you, that's good basketball. Keep your head up the whole time while you're dribbling. Let the defender come to you, dish it off. No fouls, no fouls. For three. Easy, easy. It's an example oh, of Kevin. Bang that, bang that, Julian. Oh. An example of a team playing not to lose is Boston Latin. Time out, he didn't have possession. He didn't have possession he didn't of the have ball. Possession. He didn't have possession of the ball. Coach Antelli way out of the coach's box. How are you 
calling a timeout. I was yelling at before Coach Antonelli did. He went to throw the make, ball off his defender, and he was he actually out of he was actually out of bounds. D'Amico was actually a, out of bounds when he did that. Yeah, that's that's bad. Because he was looking to throw it off the defender, off his leg, well, right. up to some roll. And as he threw it, he was stepping out of bounds. So he's technically out of bounds. The coach, uh, the coach from Boston Latin. And nobody had possession. Hey, is he, is, is he related to Stanley? I don't think so. The coach, ATN, um, when he was calling it, the ball was already bouncing around underneath everybody. I would say so. it was out of bounds when they called it. But they get the credit for the timeout, so they have two timeouts left. Somerville has two timeouts left. Both teams are in the penalty situation, which will be automatically two free throws. And with this clock strike zero, we have 128 to go, and we have an eight-point lead for Boston Latin. The best thing for Somerville is you've held Finn to three points in the first and second half, allowing him to score 17 in the third. So you have not kept Evan off the glass. How many rebounds does Evan have? Eleven. But all in, in the second half, though, right? The majority no, of them. Yeah, five in the first half. Oh. Up three. Going to the line for two will be Will White. Will White has 12 points. And the foul is on number three, who is Ben Francois. That's his first. Wholesale substitutions here as Coach Antelli is going offense, defense. Whoa, again. Coming back into the game Dorkson now. Coming back in. Now, yeah, defensively, you're taking Finn out of the game. I wouldn't have done that. He only has two fouls. 121 remaining. I would have had him rebounding right now. Gets his own board, Kevin. Get the board, guys. Four rebounds for White. Who hit that? Move it. Who hit that? I missed it. Makai <laughs> goes in. High for two. Timeout Antonelli. I want to say it was number zero that made yeah, that layup. I think so back to this situation. I mean, that, that occurred last year. There were a lot of stories in the media from all over the country on shortages of anything from a snowplow driver to, yep. you know, uh, pilots to bartenders. Well, there's, there's Joe says number one hit that. D'Amico. Thank you, Joe. The uh, but that's the thing. If you if you get if you pay the referees in cash right there on the field, on the diamond, on the pitch, on the court, wherever it is. Don't leave the court until you handed that money, put it in your pocket. You'd have you'd have 400 more refs tomorrow morning. And how do you tax that? And then, well, they don't, sorry. You'd same as, same as you know, if you were a waiter. You, you just know. declare it. You, you, know, you declare a certain amount. Okay, when I was part of a three-person wait staff back when I was in high school, you just got cash at the end of the day, and you had to declare a certain amount of it. Your paycheck was like $1.25 an hour, so at the end of the day, you get a paycheck. At the end of the week, you get a paycheck for like, you know, two bucks. But that's what I would do. All right. Back to live action with 102 remaining in this game. Eight-point lead for Boston Latin. Let's get it. Look out. Go, oh, go, go at it, go at it. Yeah. Yeah. Makai from way downtown, no. Big boy. thought about it, but he sees a big 50 six. seconds, Kevin. Right into the lane, get it. Oh. Foul will be on Finn. Bro, this is what you want, though. Clock stop, and we got an opportunity to get two points with 48 seconds to go in the game. Coming back into the game. 10 points for Makai, Kevin. Coming back into the game is number 14, Jaden. Burtson. Makai's first two free throws of the game. Oh. And Kevin did hold his follow through. Look at 
Correct. Oh my God, I can't believe you don't have a flip phone, Jeff. I had no choice. On December 3rd last year, they shut it off. All right, seven point lead for Boston Latin. They told me they'd shut it off and I had no choice, it just went off. Oh, Julian. Did I hit the support? But Julian, Julian tipped, tipped it. Okay. Now, Boston Latin, on the score, you can run the baseline. What's he want? Coach Antelli is saying, watch the push off, and the boss line, Coach 18, is saying, watch the holds. So they're both supporting their player in doing whatever they're doing to break the rules. Just throw it deep. It is taking the time. Great oh. hook. Wow, he's going to take that layup like Both that. Four corners. Foul. Going to the line will be Prim. Thirty-one seconds to go. He hits one of these, Kevin. They're in good shape. Yep. It's all academic. Tilly's got Shoot another timeout. Shoot it. Holly. No. That's it. Oh. Foul beyond Eddie. Eddie tackles him. 18.1 seconds to go. In ten the game. rebounds for John D'Amico. That's your game right there, Kevin. Yeah. Those ten rebounds. A lot of former alums here, Kevin. The guys back from college. I'm told Phil Bassett is here for some reason. D'Amico here with the two free throws. And how confident is Boston Latin, Kevin? They pull their rebounders. Oh, Finn's still in there. Finn? Yeah. Is yeah. it, and is it Finn? It's two eyes. Two eyes or two ends? Finn, Finn. Oh! Makai gets a free rebound. 15 seconds, Shoot Kevin. It. 10 point lead. Shoot it. Why would you be anywhere near him? Why would you be like anywhere near the you know, foul? That's the game. Boston, Boston Latin 51, Somerville 41. I mean, it, it got out of hand very early on in the first quarter, and the Highlanders were never able to get back. They went on a 14 to nothing run, I believe it was, in the first quarter. I mean, that, that's pretty much the game there. They, they made a comeback, but uh, it was too much. Um, Coach, Coach Antonelli ha having a little laugh with the receivers at the end of the game. And the Highlanders just right off the bat were just outmatched. So, but still promising for, for them uh, for the rest of the season. And they look good. Like you're saying, that they have a definite three-point threat. So they're always going to be in the game. Um, so that is. So the next game that the Highlanders will be playing will be at Wynn English on December 19th at 7 o'clock. And then they'll be playing Medford High School on December 21st. And then they have the Christmas tournament, or the holiday tournament. Um, that first game will be, wait, are they both here? Yeah. So December 28th at 5.30. And then 
the second game to be determined on December 29th. All right, Kevin, let me go over the scores. For some of all, one point for Julian, but he came up with some big steals and big plays defensively and pushed the ball on that one break when they cut the lead under 10 points. Danny had three. Kyle Ray Dutra had two, but six boards. For Kyle, huge game defensively. Four points for Eddie, who controlled the offense. Stabilized things for the team. Five points for Ben in his first home varsity action. Ole with six. Nine for Ian Bourne, who had a couple three-point plays. And leading the way, Makai with 11. The team is seven for 12 from the free throw line for a total of 41. For Boston Latin, two points for Max Mendoza. I'm trying to remember, that was number No, no, two points for Jane and Berkson, my fault. Three for Evan, who was your starting center, but three for 11, 11 boards. Five for Jackson Print with those free throws at the end. John D'Amico with nine and 10 rebounds. 12 for Will White. And leading the way is Finn with 20 points. And the best thing for some of all is Kevin, you held them to three, you held him to three points in the second in half. The second half. He had yeah. 17 in the first half for a total of 51. They are three and, and undefeated at three and zero. Oh. And they beat two GBL teams, Medford and Somerville. And Somerville is now one game down in the GBL, 0-1 and 0-1 non-league. So that is your wrap-up. And there you have it. We will see you in the new year. Everybody have a happy holiday, have a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. God bless. Good night.